Hello team and welcome back to another Line Warcast. This is your map today. A 2v2 between Infenzia in blue and Yan in red on alpha team and Kartoffelmen in orange and Besantos in teal on Bravo team. Alpha team's taking the right hand side of the map. Besantos and Kartoffel taking these central islands. There's a trade route in the top left. There's also a trade route in the bottom right here. So both teams generally with one trade route that they could secure over time. And it's a submarine pen, dock, barracks, and airport opener for Kartoffelman and that Northern Island for Bravo team. And Misantos is going for two docks making cruisers, a refinery, an airport, and a very quick depot to start storing this fuel. We see how many times in the Navy game that energy becomes such a huge part of it in energy security. Two docks, a submarine pen, and a factory from Infenzia with a very quick refinery. And then Yan has spawned one territory on this small island and has immediately gone for all of the industry and then building this city as fast as possible. Three docks after and an airport with a barracks. Kartoffel is going to start sending units across and landing on Yan's Island, it's going to actually be kind of tough for this transport boat to actually get in here. I suspect it's going to bounce off these buildings a few times. Trying to find a suitable place to land those units. And it is Strikers out of Kartoffelman's airport. Two cruisers for Besantos are nearly done. It is also Strikers for Besantos's airport. And one of the strengths of Strikers is that they can be put on aircraft carriers. It's a large navy map that might actually happen here. So the four infantry for yellow actually do get on the land without much of a fuss. It's a transport boat and a destroyer as the first two naval units for Yan with a cruiser out of this northernmost dock. The four infantry will get stuffed here. First submarine for Infenzia is up. And we'll be able to push back this transport boat if it decides to keep sending units in. And a second dock for Kartoffel who has one submarine finished. With Vesantis' two cruisers on the way now. Two transport boats for Teal. After the first two cruisers. And Fenzi is going to send their cruisers over to this orange dock to just try to destroy it. And at the same time Vesantis is going to rush in. And try to destroy this blue dock, which could happen. There's not going to be another boat here for blue that will be able to defend super quickly. The one striker is getting involved for Kartoffel, but it is heading directly towards this blue dock. And it won't stop to attack these two blue cruisers. So is this going to be the subs for orange? Whichever ones show up. This, this single one is the only thing defending this here. It's not going to be in time to, to save that dock. Kartoffel's also got a transport boat in the north. Probably going to start sending some infantry over to this leftmost island to take this trade route. And the Bravo team planes targeting this dock, as mentioned. There's enough blue units that these two cruisers for Besantos are going to have to back off, and they do. And helicopters from Yan off this airport, which can jump across to this island to help out Infenzia defend their base if necessary. And helicopters can also go on aircraft carriers when the game progresses to that stage where players are making aircraft carriers, they can still be used and extending their range. The two cruisers for Bravo Team are now stuck in the back, there's only one left. The helicopter will be able to finish that off. Orange now has about three strikers. Third one is almost complete. And if we go top down, Bravo team is starting to get to these leftmost islands. And there's a lot of economy on those islands. The first town of like city and trade route, or pardon me, port, is finished for Yan. So this bottommost town will have to be built with a port in order for Alpha Team to get this trade route. It'll be a little bit difficult to secure because of Besantos' docks. If Blue can destroy these docks, then it becomes less of a problem and this trade route gets a lot safer. 
Strikers for Basantos are heading towards the airport. There is one Sam at home. This is a very heavily damaged dock, though, so these two teal strikers will likely be able to destroy it in time. Yan puts down a submarine pen. And Kartoffel rebuilds that dock that was lost earlier on the far left. Blue dock gets taken out in Fenzia, pushing against these docks for Basantos. There's nearly two cruisers done for teal. But certainly one of the docks will go down and then maybe the cruiser will spawn in time. It's a little bit tough timing because these teal strikers were just out destroying this dock. So they're not, not able to be here for the defense. And we do see Basantos put down a submarine pen. So both the cruisers actually finished. That one finishes just in time. Which is a big deal to help defend this. It, there's no missile ships with Blue's Navy here. So this, with the strikers and these two cruisers, should be a clean hold. And Kartoffel builds a refinery on this far left island. Basantos has also landed here with one group off that transport boat. Is able to successfully defend the docks. And these orange subs are stuck in the water. They can't move because they are out of energy. This is Alpha Team's vision, so the sub not really super visible at all times. Some of the boats would have to be closer to it. So for now, it's staying alive. Infenzia with a great play to send this navy up to the north to destroy this one dock from Kartoffel. There is a cruiser here, but there's going to be a total of three cruisers and two submarines for blue. So should be able to just deal with that. Especially with striker support. Teal nearly has a full airport full of strikers. And another refinery. For Infenzi, who's hooked up this, this forward refinery to Yan's energy ref like depot here. This refinery. So the energy sharing can start to happen for Alpha Team. This airport still has a lot of potential. For Kartoffel because it's within range of everything that Yan has. And there's no missile boats for Alpha Team yet. There are three SAMs for Infenzia, but they're not really close enough to help out if Red's Island got attacked. So Kartoffel's dock is destroyed. Pesanto ma making a barracks and some industry on the leftmost island. And Kartoffel's got this barracks going. No one yet on the uh, bottom leftmost island, pardon me. And here's the strength of these strikers, because Kartoffel's going to be able to destroy this refinery, which will... In I think it's going to stop all these red boats from moving. And it does. Yan doesn't have another refinery that's ready to go. Infenzi was supplying all the energy. So for the moment, Red's Navy will not be able to move. None of the transport planes will be able to send out commandos. There are three completed. And a drop from these commandos out of two or more transport planes could be very strong against Kartoffel's base here. Especially if, if Yam was able to locate this airport. It is seen in the fog of war. Red immediately rebuilds this refinery. Basantos jumps in with these cruisers to try to destroy one of Infenzi's refinery. Good movement by both players. Infenzi defends this. And this is a target command on Yan's airport. This would be a pretty big play if Kartoffel can destroy this. Because it means there's no possibility for commander traps to happen. The two tr transport planes will also get destroyed. There are enough strikers to do this in one attack. So relatively big play. First missile boat is out for Yan. It's very quickly destroyed by these teal strikers. And a rocket for Infenzia. It'll be interesting to see if this was scouted 
by that one striker and it was not. Launch pads have a little bit of a stealth characteristic to them. And Kartoffel rebuilds the sub pen that was also destroyed on this close coast. This will be a tough spot for Alpha Team to actually find it. There's no real reason that boats would go close enough to the coast here to actually be able to detect that. Another farm for Basantis on the leftmost island. And that is a lot of economy that Bravo Team is slowly gaining on the left side of the map. Cruiser does poke in, destroy the refinery, which again shuts off this... I mean, I guess the... the Pipelines weren't actually connected at this point, so the energy sharing thing doesn't go away. But it is a big pickup. And Fenzi's got a second refinery in the bottom. There is actually a third location that could also happen. And luckily for Blue, there's enough infantry around here to stop this landing party from Basantos with actually a dock and a barracks in the bottom and start capping these far rightmost islands. So Infensi will have to pay attention to those landings by Basantos in the bottom. Certainly don't want to let Basantos get a foothold on Infensi's main starting position. Now another good snipe from Kartoffel. Who will maybe lose this last striker to a Sam. And good shot, and yes, Kartavla has no real option except just to rebuild this refinery again. There's no other refinery on the right-hand side of the map. And we'll see if Alpha Team can really get this energy thing under control. So far, Bravo Team is good. Kartavla's still just on the one refinery, which is a little bit scary. And I said at the beginning there's actually only one trader on the left hand side. There is actually two in the bottom here. Navy for blue can go around the bottom to disrupt this. And these are all blue submarines cap. Or actually, I think, yeah, they're blue submarines capping. And Fenzi now realizes that something's going on down here. The sub will be able to destroy that. Both the transport boat, probably, and then also the dock. Here comes a bold play from Kartoffel, but I like it. Low energy though, unfortunately, so these strikers can't also get in the fight here. And with the addition of Infensia's one cruiser, another cruiser for red showing up. Kartoffel, or pardon me, Yan should be able to defend this one refinery at this point. Five missile boats is enough to deal with five strikers, or at least make it very painful. For red to try to attack that alpha team gets to the rightmost island with three territories here there's a rocket or a launch pad part of me for yan that has been built there's a rocket or a launch pad again that infenzia has constructed that is finished at this point rockets need 500 money though so blue's not quite there yet And in an effort to afford this rocket, likely, Yen destroys that barracks. There's no more airport that could do commando drops, so it's not super important to have that barracks here anymore. It, of course, opens up the possibility of Hartoffel doing commando drops on this island. There's nothing on land to defend it. But it's not really the way the game is trending. If, if the Navy can defend the island, that's probably enough. And there's enough missile boats that they should be able to destroy any transport planes if that were to happen anyway. Alpha Team's now got most of the islands on the right-hand side. Great landing attempt from Basantos. Blue's gonna shut it down. A factory in the bottom right for Teal as well. And Fenzia did destroy this one dock and the longer that this goes the more eco that bravo team gets to take on the left hand side of the map bravo team very likely is getting eco much more quickly than alpha team is because these are all the territories it's really only five new territories that alpha team's been able to conquer 
And if we go top down, we'll probably see that it looks like Bravo Team has more territory captured. Great snipe and two of the infantry get away. Leaving Infenzia just on two refineries. It is hooked up via pipelines for Alpha Team. In the wildest of, of pipeline configurations, usually we just see the pipeline go directly to the other refinery, three different buildings and such. And I think these are red submarines. They certainly are red submarines attacking this cruiser as well. Oh, maybe it's a combination. It's kind of tough to tell in replays the color of submarines. So first aircraft carrier on the way for Basantos. This is going to be huge. To be able to get closer to the mainland and identify targets and just click on them. There's a lot of SAMs here for Infenzi in the mountain range though. So that's going to have to be a thing that the Teal Strikers aim to avoid. And both of Alpha Team's rockets are now a third of the way done. A little bit of a tough spot, I'd assume, for Alpha Team at this point. Both Kartoffel and Basantos are going to land on the bottom left island. Basantos has started building this town, and there's two more refineries on this leftmost island for Kartoffel, who also has a town going down in the north. So the rockets are really the only thing that Alpha Team has going for them. Because the economies are probably a little bit out of whack. Subs for Basantos are in the perfect position. This is Alpha Team's vision. So unless they see that this town's taking damage or hear that the torpedo's hitting it. There's no visual indication that there are subs here. There's not enough units around it. And two submarines this close to the shore are not enough to spot this launch pad with a rocket that's nearly two-thirds of the way done. Three strikers are on the aircraft carrier now, which posts up midway between this channel. The Santos is going to destroy this refinery again. And this this factory in the bottom right is finally online. And Fenzia builds a town to compensate for all the eco. And presumably Alpha Team, when they zoom out on the map now, this feels a little bit uncomfortable because they can kind of assume that a lot of this territory on the far left is capped by Bravo. Yan's rocket is complete, well within range of this airport. Infensia's rocket is going to complete. There's no anti-air for either player, orange or teal, to defend against these rockets. So it's just really a question of whether Alpha Team can turn these rockets into something useful and then counterattack off of it. There's not really any transport boats that Alpha Team could use to do this though. And likely one of the last fights of the game, this naval battle. And very slowly, Bravo Team is going to win this fight. Hasted Strikers in the north to attack this refinery, which will leave Yan with no energy. Great call from Red to actually launch this rocket. Because you need 20 energy to launch a rocket. And knowing that that was going to disappear. Yan takes a shot, and Fenzi also launches the rocket. Pretty good hit from... Yeah, but unfortunately it doesn't destroy the airport, so the strikers will be able to land. And with that, Yan's out of the game, making it an impossible situation for Blue to be able to 1v2 that. Well played. GG. I mean, I'm glad that we got to see the rockets. And pretty close game. GG, well played. Folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the Landward Discord if you want to find games, chat with folks, ask questions.
twitch.tv slash soda quackers i stream line more on there likes comments and subs all help the channel grow props to all you folks for being part of the line more community hope you have a wonderful night day evening whatever it is peace